Hey, this is a quick computer tip. If you've got Adobe Acrobat, either the reader or the full-blown Adobe Acrobat, it could be using up many, many gigabytes of disk space on your computer. How did I find that out? Guess what? You go in here and you look and Adobe Acrobat says it's like a gigabyte. Acrobat is pretty big. I mean, the installer is several hundred megabytes. But the problem is there is a secret that nobody else is going to tell you about what Adobe Acrobat does to your computer behind your back and it's not accounted for in the installed size in any of the Windows application management settings whatever panels. Adobe Acrobat receives periodic updates. Every single time Adobe Acrobat gets an update it saves the patch installer for the update to the Windows Installer repository. You can see this under C Windows Installer. In fact, if you go to C Windows Installer and you sort by size and you bring up the properties for the files that are at the top of that list, there's a good chance that if you dig through those, you'll find that the digital signature is for Adobe. So what's happening is every time there's a patch update for Adobe Acrobat Reader, it really is basically a full installer, pretty much, and it saves that full installer. Now, that's fine. If for some reason it needs to keep an installer lying around, that's fine. It already keeps an installer lying around buried in another directory, I think under common files, but okay, whatever. If you've had an Adobe Acrobat or Acrobat Reader for a long time, there could be 10 or 20 patch installers, each several hundred megabytes. On this computer, um, while I was doing this cleanup, I found out that Adobe Acrobat Reader being removed changed the used space from like 100 gigabytes to 85. It's insane how much space these patch installers can take up sometimes. Um, I use a tool called WinDirStat, that's W-I-N-D-I-R-S-T-A-T, to look at the sizes of things on computers and figure out, you know, drill down to find where uh, the big stuff is and whether or not I can remove it. And maybe if you're interested, I'll do a tutorial video on using WinDirStat to figure out where the hell everything is on Windows and what's so big and what folders are big and whether or not you can get rid of certain things. But I did that and I found that installer was huge and I wondered why, so I looked at the biggest packages and all of them suspiciously were Adobe. And I did a little more digging and it turned out they were Adobe Reader. MSPs, which are Microsoft Windows Installer patches. MSI is Microsoft Installer, MSP is Microsoft Installer patch. And with that, um, if you uninstall Adobe Acrobat from the, you know, programs and features, apps and features, whatever they call it now, um, it not only removes Acrobat, it also removes all of those patch installers going back years without you going in there fiddling around manually with the Windows Installer repository possibly hosing your computer. So I highly recommend if you want to keep Adobe Acrobat around um, and you have a disk space issue especially, or if you just want a clean house, dump it. Uninstall Adobe Acrobat or Acrobat Reader, then if you really want it, put it back on. It'll go back on without any of the patch garbage. And patches moving forward will still have the same effect, but it does take time for that many patches to accumulate, potentially years. But that's the point, is that if you, you if you lose 20 or 30 gigabytes to patch installers over the course of years, that's stupid. Again, I re reiterate from one of my previous videos, use Sumatra PDF if you're on Windows and you don't need the functionality of Adobe Acrobat. If you're just reading PDFs, Sumatra PDF is by far the fastest and simplest PDF reader. Uh, there are others like Foxit, but I don't really mess with those. I found Sumatra. It's lightweight and fast, and it has enough options for me. I don't need to fill out forms. I'm good to go. Uh, and the PDF.js stuff in browsers is too damn slow. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Uninstall Adobe Acrobat. Have a great day. May you uh, have 20 more gigs to store suspicious material like you know, pornography or the Epstein files. Take care.